So what I'm thinking of doing, just for a little bit of fun, I'm gonna go and put some pink hair dye through my hair and hope that the pink picks up in some spots. So for example, where it's gone gray, with any luck, that'll go pink and then the purple will stay purple. So I'll have a gradient from purple to pink. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, Archie? Fun? Ah yes, the forbidden strawberry frosting. All right, guys, well, I have no idea what's gonna happen now. I don't know if the pink is going to take on the parts of my hair that went gray. I don't know if the pink is going to cover the purple or if when I wash this out, the purple will still be there and then it'll change into pink. I have no idea. I'm gonna leave this one here and uh, I'll do another video about the gradient hair because no doubt once I wash this out, there's probably gonna be some, you know, terrible patchiness from my terrible job doing this on myself, so I might have to call in some friends to help me out. And I'm gonna maybe try and go from like a really dark purple, then into a pink and then into a much lighter pink. Not sure yet. If you're interested to see how this turns out with the purple to pink, then subscribe and keep an eye out for a gradient hair dye video that I will post at some point. So here I am, uh, the gradient has slightly washed out after a couple of washes. I mean, it wasn't that strong to begin with. The gradient was cute going from purple to pink, but I just, I didn't execute it very well because I just can't do anything myself. I'm completely useless and I rely on everyone around me to help me succeed. So uh, that's why I've called in Sam to try and do this again. So we're gonna try and go from purple to pink and then a pastel pink. Obviously this is it right now. This is after four washes. So the, what you just saw, that was immediately after I put in the Revolution Pink over the top of the purple and the gray, immediately after. Four washes later, I think this is really adorable. I think it's super cute. So I'm hoping that when we put in the, the stronger colors today, it'll go, you know, very vibrant. And then after a couple of washes, it'll be a nice pastel gradient. And maybe, just maybe, we can get it to look a little bit more consistent and not so patchy. So I have an inspiration photo. This is what I'm going for. It looks glorious and beautiful, and uh, I think with the colors that I've put out on the table, we should be able to achieve it. So here's the plan. We've got Dare in Forbidden Grape, which I used in my other purple hair dye video. I've thinned it out with a little bit of conditioner so it goes further. Then we're gonna transition into this pink color, which is the Revolution one from the 16 pink hair dyes video. I've also mixed that with some conditioner to make it go a bit further. And then at the bottom, we're gonna use Dare number 10 in Sugar Storm because that's a nice sort of pastel orangey pink color. And uh, we're gonna try and get some sunset vibes. Are you ready? Look, I thought you just wanted my help. The fact that you need me to now be artistic as well. Alex, you, you shot yourself in the foot, I'm sorry. So this is what you're gonna do to my hair today. Can you channel your inner Brad Mondo and do this for me? Absolutely not, I've got no idea who that is. I've started using TikTok lately and I've come across some interesting viral hair videos. One of which being... Ghosts. <laughs> one of which being this video right here. Now this has 9 million views. That's sick what they've done. So this is what you're going to do to me. So that's, that's how we... I hate TikTok. As soon as I open it, it's just rolling. Oh, TikTok is so annoying. It just I want I want to open an app, right? And, and just, just have be nice quiet. peace and quiet and say, oh, that video looks interesting. Let's click on it and play it. But no, no. no. TikTok's like, oh, you've opened me. <laughs> this is what you're going to do. Now I've set up a little spot on the floor over there where I'm going to lie down. You're going to put my hair out like that, yep. nice and straight. You're going to use a little paintbrush. Yep. And you're going to start off dark purple and then a hot pink and then a pastel orange. Amazing, it's not gonna look anything like that, but we're gonna give it a goddamn go. Let's hope it looks better. Now the annoying thing about this video on TikTok is they never show the results, ever. I mean, maybe they do. Like, no, they don't, video. they don't. Not I've even looked, in a follow-up? I've looked at every video on their page. There is no follow-up video. Oh. Eight million views, That's... Mr. Ethan Girl. You have eight million people wanting to know what the hair looks like and you haven't shown it, so, we're just gonna have to do it ourselves and see what it looks like when you lie down on the floor and paint someone's hair like a the Picasso problem. painting. <laughs> Don't cut off my ear. <laughs> that was Van Gogh, but sure. You wanna show everyone 
what the end result of those videos are going to be. Yeah. But we're not going to be able to because they're professionals. It's, it's Does not that gonna... look professional to you? I mean, maybe. That, this looks like something I would have done in preschool. <laughs> like, gather around, children, we're going to paint Sally's hair. She throwing that shade. Hey, Alex. Yes. Will you forgive me for anything that happens past this point? Look, I do not hold you liable for any uh, damages caused to my hair. <laughs> that sounded legally binding to me. Let's go. <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> do it. Now make sure it goes all the way to the roots. You can pull oh, oh, all even, the way. All the way. Oh, okay. All okay. the way. Okay, even onto the hair that's not like. Um... Yeah, yeah, onto my natural hair is fine. Okay, okay. Uh, my forehead. Ah! Simba. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> hey Alex, what's the worst that could happen? Um, people give me a thumbs down on the video. That's the worst that could happen. There you go. How dare you do this to your hair? I'm gonna dislike this because I am offended by the fact that you treated your hair like that. <laughs> There's a trend on TikTok, it's called like the point of view trend, and it, they say, oh, put, put your phone down and lean over it, and this is what it looks like when you're on top. <laughs> this is why people shouldn't make viral videos where they don't give proper instructions, because the 9 million view TikTok video didn't show how he got it on the underneath of the head. Was it like this? Is this correct? Okay, for anyone following along at home, I think we've solved our problem, created a solution. But if you know a better way how to do this, do it that way. Don't do it my way. Go to a hair salon. Go to a hair salon. <laughs> Don't get stood up Sam to do your damn hair for you. He's a Fraud. <laughs> you know, I see the appeal of this. This is nice and relaxing. It's better than sitting in a chair at a hair salon. All salons should have the option to lie down and have your hair done. Alright, so this one you've obviously got like a little baby spoon, so I'm just gonna like dollop that on. Yes! It's like jam. Oh, sick! This is so cool. Look, even if this doesn't work, if this doesn't look good, I really don't care because this is just very satisfying to experience. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm loving watching this turn out. Like it's, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Actually, doesn't need to think so. Yeah, well, he's like entitled to his opinion. It's wrong though. Oh my knees. Ugh. You're like an old man. God. Oh god. Is it time for blending now? It is, it is time for blending. I like my purple sideburns. Yeah. So many mistakes have been made. A happy accident. Oh, so sorry, sorry, no mistakes, only happy accidents. You know why I enjoy making hair videos? The hair grows on my head for free. I don't have to pay for it. All I have to do is put a different color in my hair and I can make a video and entertain you guys. It's like unlimited, unlimited content growing out of my scalp. Oh, are you doing the orange now? Yep. Hang on, you're not using the brush? Not yet. Oh, okay, okay, all right, yep. Yeah. Well, you haven't given me a... Well, I don't have a third brush. Well, that's all right, I'll just use my fingers for this one. Well, you could, you could wash the first brush. Why, why don't you wash the first brush? No! That's not professional, Sam! You were being so professional up until this point. You should have thought about that before you asked me to do this. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you've got to make little love hearts in the end of the head oh, yeah. <laughs> while we're waiting for it to cure. Let me find the Kendall Jenner pick. Uh -huh. See this? Oh, this article says, revealed why Kendall Jenner's photo is the most liked in Instagram history. 
While this photo is unlikely to find its way into the National Portrait Gallery, it could serve as a valuable lesson in how to get liked on Instagram. <laughs> Aside from breaking the crucial cool rule of Instagram, manufactured spontaneity, the hair hearts pose many questions. Is she in love? Is she referencing the other star of Instagram, Persian poet turned hashtag Rumi, with a visual affirmation about love? Or is she alluding to the fact that 2015 is the 60th anniversary of Switzer Love Hearts, thus securing the Stockport and Greater Manchester vote? Or, hey, my hair is Love Hearts, cool. That is the ugliest Love Heart I have ever seen. That looks like a pink Sam. <laughs> We're gonna recreate this Kendall Jenner photo. Try and make me as pretty as her. Tilt your chin slightly down. Slightly up. And... Yes! I look just like a Kardashian. <laughs> I guess now we wait. Um, so, you wanna play some Mario Kart? How are you gonna do that from down there? I'll be fine. No, you won't. I'll be fine. Okay. Sure. Alright. Okay, to the sink. Come. After you. To the sink. You first. You first. You follow. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, what do I do? What do I do with this? P Gib. Why would you give it to me, colour side down? <laughs> well, I couldn't see. <laughs> Everyone's been telling me I need to wash my hair with cold water, so I'm gonna do that. And now, in the style of the TikTok, let's not reveal the results. Thanks, guys, so yeah. much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a great time. day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.
Yeah. Hey guys, so uh, as some of you know, I just had an operation the other day to fix my collapsed left nostril, which was the result of the surgery that I had back in February. And um, I can't have a shower to wash my hair for like a week or so because this cast that I have on, I can't get it wet. It's like holding everything in place and I can't get it wet. So at the moment, my hair has had about eight washes since I dyed it in this video. It's sort of holding in there pretty strong. When I filmed my 16 pink hair dyes video, the shade Sugar Storm was like a really nice orangey pink. But in this video, when I put it over the top of the gray, it didn't really go orangey. It just kind of went like a, like a purpley kind of pink. Oh my God, my eyes are so sore. I'm so sorry. I'm falling apart. I was supposed to film this outro before my operation, but I just ran out of time. I had so much to do before the operation. I just didn't get it done. So um, anyway, overall, I think so far out of all the different hair colors that I've tried, I think that this has been my favorite. I've definitely had the most compliments on this hairstyle. People are like, oh my God, I love your sunset hair. It would have been so much more sunset if the bottoms had been orange, but you know, it's just been a really nice gradient. It was fun. It's not perfect, obviously, because you know, I, I've done some pretty terrible things to my hair and it's not picking up color so great in certain spots, but it's definitely my favorite. Uh, I really like it. I'd really like to do some sort of like blue to pink or or, you know, something maybe like a, a red to orange to yellow. Basically, before I go back to my natural red, I just want to have some more fun, experiment with different hair dyes and different products. And, you know, if my hair gets damaged, I could just cut it later down the track. It's totally fine. I don't care. Um, I definitely need to condition the ends a little bit more because when I was looking back at the footage, you know, where I was standing there flicking my hair around, I was like, oh, the ends look so frizzy. But a lot of people were leaving comments on my pink hair dye video telling me, hey, the bottom of your hair is not damaged it just needs to be conditioned it's just dry so I bought a whole bunch of really good um, hair repair products that I'm going to be testing out in a video coming up soon anyway so I'll give you one last look at my hair this is like I said after I think it's been about eight washes so obviously my regrowth is coming in pretty badly it's pretty terrible. As much as I don't like the regrowth, a lot of people have been leaving comments saying it looks much nicer to have regrowth. So maybe uh, at some point when I go see a professional, they might be able to help me kind of get more of a, maybe like a gradient kind of fade into my natural color instead of just being a harsh line. If there's any other color combinations that you want to see me do before I cut my hair and go back to my natural color, then please let me know if you can think of any fun color combinations. Or if you see any like TikTok hair tutorials or anything that you want me to follow, just let me know down below. If you like this sunset hair, then please give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other hair videos if you haven't yet. I always have so much fun filming the hair videos. And uh, if you want me to try anything out, just leave a comment down below and uh, let me know some of your favorite hair dye brands too. There's obviously so many hair dye brands that I haven't tried yet. I tried a fair few in the pink hair dye video, but I'm always on the lookout for new brands. So if you have any other brand recommendations, please let me know and I'll start making some videos about other hair dye brands. But uh, for now, I can't wash this for a little while because I cannot get my head wet. So I'm just gonna have to leave it as it is and then hope that I can sort of strip out some of the color in a couple of weeks time and that I can start playing around with some other colors. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah. 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 Mwah.